This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's go over the mutations in uh, Grounded as far as we have them unlocked through December 2020, uh, uh, version 4.3. Uh, the first one's Buff Lungs. Uh, you get this one through Raw Science Purchase at Burgle. Uh, this one here uh, actually will give you additional stamina capacity. Uh, so you can run longer, technically fight a little bit longer, but I haven't really noticed a major difference in while using it in combat, but it definitely helps very well in conjunction with Cardio Fan when running back and forth between places. Grass Master, it helps with grass blades, so you can actually have less degradation on your axe, but other than that, it just it's a way to, to be able to cut grass blades faster. Same thing with Rock Cracker. Uh, Rock Cracker I got from Quartzite uh, farming over the Ant Hill, but you can also use Rock Cracker if you wanted to for the bigger rocks to uh, get more pebbles if necessary. Ant Annihilator, uh, this one's really helpful when you're actually you're farming in the Ant Hill. It helps you do more damage versus ants. Uh, especially the soldier ants. Uh, the worker ants aren't really much of a problem, but if you get uh, surrounded by the worker, uh, the soldier ants, it really helps with doing damage more quickly to them. Little Fist. Uh, this one I unlocked through farming the smaller enemies, uh, gnats, lawn mites, aphids, those types of, types of enemies. I think it was 50 kills, if I'm not mistaken. Not entirely uh, confident that's the right number, but basically it's Put your weapons away, swing with your fist until you kill enough things to unlock it, then don't worry about it again. Coup de Grass. Uh, this one here is actually found by locating the clover on the map. Uh, if you don't know where it is, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there, but the general direction is on the east side of the map. There is a small local research station uh, near where the three stink bugs spawn. You can, uh, there's a little water hold with a cave underneath. Make sure you bring one of the new lanterns with you because the current torches will not work underwater. Uh, once you go through the tunnel, you'll come up and then there's going to be a clover uh, inside a little cave area. And once you get close to it, you'll unlock coup de grass. I always leave this enabled on my game just because it helps with stunning. So you have a higher chance to stun an, an enemy when you have this one enabled. It's very helpful for wolf spiders. Juicy. This one is actually found by locating all of the juice boxes on the map. Um, this one here actually gives you an enhanced benefit for anything that quenches thirst. Don't find a big benefit to using it, but if you want to unlock it, you make sure you find each of the, uh, the juice boxes and you'll be able to unlock the juicy perk. Natural Explorer. This one is just by running across the map and finding locations. I uh, don't believe we can actually get level 3 yet, but once they open the Hayes Research uh, Station later on in 2021, I'm pretty sure that's what we'll be able to get level 3 for this one, but until then, mine's just level 2. If you do find a level 3, uh, let me know because I'm, I'm missing some locations. Cardio fan. Uh, this one is basically by just burning stamina. Uh, when you press your left thumb stick to run, or whatever keystrokes you use on the PC version, uh, the more stamina you run, uh, burn, uh, the more, well, the quicker you'll unlock it, and it just helps you be able to uh, refill your stamina more quickly. Reliable friend is done through pickups. Uh, this one here, I have up to level tubes. I haven't quite picked up enough to make level three yet, but if I understand correctly, it's 30 pickups in your game in order to unlock this level 3. Sharpshooter, uh, this one is using the bow and arrow. So kills with the bow and arrow will uh, get you uh, points towards this perk. Um, same as, as little, a little fist, lawn mites, uh, weevils, aphids, any of the smaller enemies you can use the, uh, the bow and arrow for. Or if you're really fast, you can hit them with the uh, mallet, and then once they get low on health, just pop some arrows in them to finish them off. As long as you get the killing blow with the arrow, you'll get credit towards that perk. Meat Shield, I leave this one on pretty much all the time as well because it gives me more health. You never know when a wolf spider is going to show up or if a bunch of orb weavers are going to dogpile you. But it does give you more health, so it's a very helpful perk in my opinion. Fresh Defense. Uh, this one here you can possibly miss out on if you're not careful. Uh, in order to unlock this one, you have to pick up a mint. 
So if you've already burned through all of your mints from the ice cap box, make sure you uh, hunt them down in the ant hill on the second level. Sometimes ants will bring another mint. Uh, there's going to be... Um, uh, there's a chance they'll have another mint available down there and you can uh, acquire pieces from that Put them in your storage So if anyone that enters your game wants to unlock this uh, They'll be able to pick it up put it in your inventory place it back and they'll get the perk unlocked uh, When you're fighting bombardier beetles, it's really a must-have because it really helps reduce some of the burning damage that they get from their, their uh, acid attacks Chopper uh, this one you get through kills with the axe um, the insect axe is the one that I was using to unlock this one, so it definitely works with the level 2 axe. And it's 100 kills, so once you get 100 kills, you'll be able to unlock level 2 of the chopper. Smasher, and this one is by using the hammer. The mint mallet, even though it is a hammer, does not qualify towards acquiring the perk. Uh, you have to use the insect axe, I'm sorry, you have to use the insect hammer. Uh, so if 100 kills of using the insect hammer, you'll be able to unlock this perk for Smasher. Daredevil, this is another Burgle uh, perk that you can buy with Raw Science. Uh, you take less damage from falling at great heights uh, because of the Dandelion Tufts. Don't see a really big need for it, but um, if you really just are afraid of heights or you want to use a perk, you're welcome to do so, but I don't see much of a need for it. Javelin Ear, this one I've actually unlocked by using the Trident. You, know, you could use the, um, the Pebble Spear, but the Trident works, especially if you're farming the... Um, boatmen or tadpoles or even the dive bell spiders you can use the ja uh, the trident to kill them and then unlock this one as well assassin is a perk you unlock with the pebble dagger it's kills with uh with it throughout the game same thing as with the others you need 100 kills with the dagger and using the same farming scenario that i did with the uh, little fist and with the sharpshooter finding some of the smaller enemies like the lawn mites and stuff and that really helped unlock that pretty quickly the last one is Mertin. Uh, this one here uh, helps with uh, your swimming. The Mertin I actually unlocked through swimming underneath the research station, farming the muddy scales and, and, the, uh, and the sunken bones. I don't know if it's just swim time cumulative or if it's, sw if it's underwater swim time, but I did notice that several of my friends didn't unlock it, but once I started using the air bubbles from the, the hose, because uh, I was down there for so long, I did I unlocked it myself. So that may be a, a trick that you may have to try for that one. I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, cumulative, if you get it down the water, if it qualifies or not. But those are all the perks that we currently have in Grounded. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to bloodx at dicejunkies.com. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!